After the end of World War II, the world was split into two, East and West. This marked the beginning of the era called the Cold War. Now, in the year 1973, the world still lies in the heart of this frigid period. The West and East engage in proxy wars to assert dominance, while spies and agents engage in shadowy dealings. And, with the threat of nuclear war, the world always feels close to doomsday. It's as if the whole world is holding their breath, waiting for someone to make the first wrong move. Now. Hello, welcome back to Jojo's Bizarre Adventure. Good trouble, we are back with me, Tantony. And me, Darnell. And me, me Doom! me, Jack of Night. Sigma, that's right. <laughs> <laughs> What a jolly time it is where we're all together. Guys, it's the season of giving. Regardless of exactly. whatever holiday you do or don't celebrate, what are you all well, excited you for me. in the next few weeks? This is a YouTube video. Not a Twitch stream. <laughs> this is so chat, what are you thinking right now? Why is no one talking <laughs> in chat? <laughs> no, I meant you guys. <laughs> I need to know what you, oh. you had planned. <laughs> Why are my friends so mean to me? <laughs> Um, that I, makes I've significantly run... more sense. <laughs> uh, I forgot if it's specific plan. I'm just gonna spend time with family. Yeah, pretty much the same. I'm excited for the Elden Ring DLC trailer. Oh, oh yeah, it's not even the DLC, just the trailer oh, for it. <laughs> yeah, the DLC yeah, well, the doesn't DLC come out like coming out for a while. Everybody made that up. Everybody decided that it's coming out in February. Who decided out. that? <laughs> well, what happened was a controller that's doing a collab with Elden Ring mentioned that their thing was going to start at that date, so everyone assumed that right, meant right. No, that's I, when I it was coming it. out. The but that was only over the past them. few days. People have been yeah. saying that shit's going to come out in February over the past year, and I have no clue where they got that, that month from. Who can say? The past... I don't have any plans for for the near future but uh recently grand blue versus rising came out and i've been explain i've had to take on this <laughs> task of explaining grand blue lore to people nice <laughs> what about you stigman do you have any holiday plans i mean aside from the generic family and christmas i'm looking forward to meeting a bunch of people again that i haven't seen in a while afterwards nice do you guys feel like you're up for some fun, stupid, silly improv real quick? No. Okay. Isn't that what the it's session fine, comes fun, to? Fun, stupid, silly improv real quick. I was gonna, I was gonna ask what everyone's character's favorite Christmas present they got was. <laughs> I don't know. Whatever. I thought you were gonna, I thought you were gonna ask if you want, we want to play Good Trouble because that's mostly what this is, improv. I was gonna say, so you give gifts in Good Trouble, you, you don't get presents. Yeah. All right. Let's just get started with the session then. Santa actually visited Bats in his cell. Yeah, Bats is <laughs> like, I know Santa. I know how he operates. I run no rad. Your present is being able to live another day. <laughs> You're you not I got on my death bike? row. <laughs> that's how. That's actually because we remember we were all like, "How did you get stabbed with the arrow, Vasily?" And he lost it. That's how Santa gave it to him for present. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. <laughs> Well, now, will you become a chosen one or die? <laughs> All right, so quick recap. Jack Frost. Quick recap. Uh, last me. time we went to team up with the Americans, uh, they were like, ah, we killed Scraggly. Who could have seen that coming? And now we're fighting the Americans. I know you're fighting the better angels. Yeah, better angels and whatever the fuck that reality pizza group's called. Yeah, reality pizza has split you between the better angels. <laughs> Oh, we're not even I mean, fighting well, the other people of that group. It's the just the better. I thought I was fighting. Um... No, we are fighting the better angels guys right now. I thought I was. Oh yeah, I'm fighting the sniper one, whoever that is. Yes. Yeah. yeah. Okay. All right. Yeah. Jump us in, Tan. And when we left off, uh, Bats, who had not gone to the meet with everyone else, uh, suddenly was tapped on the shoulder by Genesis, the leader of the better angels. Yes, we were playing blackjack. And yeah, as we return, um, you look up from your black chat to the person who's just touched you on the shoulder, and uh, the music application did not respond, so let's pretend there's music playing. Um, and you can see uh, Genesis standing above you, smiling, sort of, but what would be benevolent if not for the circumstances. Hello. Are you enjoying the party? 
Matt's uh, instinctively puts his hand in his suit coat to try and fumble with the pager. Uh, but he kind of just freezes up in fear, realizing that Genesis is standing in front of him. Would you like to walk and talk with me for a moment? The night air is lovely this time of year. I'm assuming that uh, the negotiations went south? Well, for my part, the negotiations went exactly as they were expected to. Perhaps they went south for you, but for me, the North Star is shining. Right. All right. Well, it's not like I'm going to try to fight you, okay? We're in public. I won't cause a scene. And Bats walks al along with him. Fantastic. What is it? So as you uh, walk through the party, the rest of like everyone is still like, no one realizes there's a situation. They're all just going around their party, basically. They all seem somewhat muted with the, uh, the tension of this. So it's just Genesis fight because there's no one else like accompanying him, no bodyguards or anything. Um, and he's wearing sort of tuxedo, much like yourself. You're quite hey, adept, you... aren't you? Yeah, at least you put a shirt on this time. <laughs> well, a formal environment necessitates formal attire, don't you think? I'd agree. I don't think you're one to dress up like this either. Or perhaps I'm mistaken. Look, let's just cut to the point. Even being around you fucks me up. Well, that wasn't my intention, but sure, the point. I would like to ask you something. For what reason are you loyal to Good Trouble, it's called? What have they done to earn such fidelity? Well, they, uh, they helped me get back at a few guys that screwed me over. Petty vengeance? If that's all you needed, then that's something I could have helped with. If only we'd met yeah, sooner. Well, they got here first. <laughs> Guess we're out of luck. Finders keepers, as they say. But what if I told you that good trouble isn't going to exist for very much longer? You'd be cast adrift in a sense. What would you do then? I know about your whole plan, alright? Better angels, whatever you're planning. That whole shit with the... Uh, what was it? The EMP field? Or uh, something like that? The morphogenetic field. So, Good Trouble Science Department is uh, formidable, as I've heard. Tell me, what is your understanding of uh, Endgame? I don't have one. I mean, I, uh, <laughs> I kind of just do what I'm told. Look, you really don't want to come to me if you want to get an answer on what's going on here. I mean, wh why are you even interested in me? Come on. You're a person adrift in this world. Or so I expect. Perhaps I'm wrong. But you remind me much of myself in yesteryears. That's why I find myself having quite a liking towards you. Like yourself? Are you Italian too? <laughs> no. I predate such things. But from what I understand, good trouble. They kept you locked away, used you to do their dirty work for a time. I experienced a situation very similar myself. Oh, yeah? Ish. Yes. Allow me to tell you what will happen over the next seven days. And once I'm done, you can tell me whether loyalty to Good Trouble would still be worth it at the end of that. Go ahead. Give me all the information you want. It's only going to bite you in the ass later. <laughs> You've been given a date, from what I understand, a date when our plan is supposed to be complete, and you've uh, set all your resources to being prepared for that date. Is that right? We're trying. <laughs> what if I told you that date has already become irrelevant? Uh, Bats, at this point, um, his hand is still in his pocket on the pager, but would it be unreasonable to assume he has a small recording device in there too, Tan? Um, why would you have it? Give me a reason why you have it, and I'll, I'll if you can give me a fun reason, I'll let you have it. Well, for for gathering intel, for okay. recording things. I mean, it's you know, an organization like Good Trouble probably wouldn't just want yeah, to. I can see, I can see it. Sometimes yeah, Bats has an interesting thought that he wants to record for his memoir. He's going to write when he gets out of this. Right, it's right. a memoir. Like, that's the deal. I'd yeah. imagine it's a little like cylinder, so something that can fit in there. Okay. 
At this Probably point, the title of your eventual memoir, on, it'll seal the deal on the existence of the recorder. Hmm. Harry balls on you. Um, the recorder. <laughs> you feel the weight of the recorder in your pocket like it just appeared there. <laughs> the Harry balls on you. The Bats Buko story. <laughs> it's becoming more and more solid. <laughs> <laughs> he has the same powers as Takaba. <laughs> Uh, yeah, so you, are, you have a recorder. Okay. I'm recording. Okay, so uh, Genesis stops his little stroll. Like, both of you stop them from a big window. Like, And in this city, in the distance, you can see fireworks going up from like a fireworks display. Sort of illuminating your, your face as he talks. As I said, the date has become irrelevant already. While you've been preparing for that date, we've been using our time to accelerate it. Idle hands, you know. So I'm assuming that some sort of information leak got out. Is that why the change of plans happened so suddenly? Isn't there some sort of uh, electromagnetic significance that's happening on that specific date? The morphogenetic fields, the uh, con the extra consciousness that links mankind, was meant to become one briefly on that date. Right. So how, do you, if, how are you going to change the date? That was if it was allowed to occur naturally. Do you recall the wound development? Unfortunately. Kind of hard to forget shit like that. Development of wounds caused slight fluctuations in that field. And with uh, mass creation of them performed by our partners worldwide, we've managed to um, accelerate the development of the field, pushing forward the date until, at this point, we've reached one far more convenient for our purposes. Jesus, fuck. You're telling me you have treatment centers like that all over the globe? As I said, our partners do. We have many friends, even if they don't know it. So, if I'm understanding you correctly, you're inflicting mass wounds at a certain time, on a certain date? Or is it just the eventual build-up? Or is it like that weapon? The build-up, if you must understand. Okay. Interesting. Um, so why are you telling me this? Because I want you to know that your cause is lost. It's better to jump ship to somewhere more agreeable. At least that way, you'll be able to keep your individuality. As I said, Maybe. you remind me of myself, and I would hate to see something bad happen. So what about my teammates? I'm assuming your, uh, your men have already engaged them. Probably put, That's them right. in, probably put them in different sections of reality like last time. <laughs> You're a sharp one. That's right. They've been quarantined from causality for a time. Any chance we could uh, work out a stalemate here? I mean, really. You You're going to kill them all? You remember the bet angels are formidable, but if we were to reach uh, amicable agreement, I'm sure I could call them off. What do you want? Right now, I, I would prefer your assurances that uh, good trouble... Well, not just assurances, I would require some collateral. I would need good trouble to cease all actions for the next seven days. Can't do it. A week's vacation? Is that so hard? <laughs> Look, I can't guarantee that, but I mean, if it's something else you want, my service or... I mean, I know you already have the resources and the manpower. I'm probably not much use to you, but if you can let them go, I can give that to you. Hmm. That is tempting. As I said, you do hold sentimental value for me. How would... But I would hate for you to uh, infiltrate as a mole. I'm sure that thought must have occurred to you as well. No, I understand, but from our last meeting, I've you know, came away with the idea that you're a man of your word. See. And I'm well aware of the consequences of what happens when you try to break it. Very well. If you accompany me and join the better angels, I will let them go. Unblemished. Unblemished. 
whether or not my American allies will uh, allow an easy escape is another story, but the better angels will make no move to impede you. But that's not what I'm asking for here. I'm asking that you call off the Americans so that they can get out of here. Hmm. Thinks about it. Unfortunately, for the plan to conclude, the Americans are giving me something I require. What's that? Access to a certain location. Ah, so that's what it is. I figured, you know, what does a guy like you and a group like your guys have to do with, you know... To be honest, they seem like a couple of jobbers. Well, I was not one to saw a kill of the dead. Oh, soon to be dead. You're that confident? Hmm? You're that confident in good trouble? Oh, uh, yes, good trouble, of course. Well, you are... You have proven yourselves um, quite quite the experts as well in your own brand of uh, mayhem. We did kill one of this guy's friends, right? The vampire lady? Yeah. So you can't call off the Americans. Uh, I can you offer can't, something uh, of a compromise. I'll call on. off the better angels and I have them delay the Americans that your friends can escape. Mm, you know, I just don't know if that's going to work for me, Genesis. In what way? What about we play a game for it, huh? Come on, you oh. saw me at the table back there. Why don't we make a bet? So it narrows his eyes and smiles a little. It's been a very long time since someone said no to me twice. What kind of game do you propose? You know, I'm a gambling man. I'll let you pick. Hmm. What kind of games do you prefer, then, at least? It's luck or skill? Luck. You and guys should do blackjack, and you could roll d11s to simulate the cards, and a one could be a one or a twelve for an ace. <laughs> right, right. Or I was, I was thinking, what was that one game that uh, we played earlier in the campaign that Tan made up? Uh, I don't remember. What was it? Tan? I don't remember the rules of it. To be honest, it was against, right? It was against Darby. Uh, that one you had to like give memories away. Yeah, but it was like a card game. Wasn't it called Klondike? Yeah, how did Klondike work, Tan? Um, let me check a look. <laughs> he had a fucking rules document for it. Yeah, post Klondike. Here they are. All right, can you link it to us, Dean? Yes. As expected of Dune. I see. Klondike, he says, looking at the rule book. <laughs> <laughs> he has the whole ass tome just in his back pocket. <laughs> yeah. So Banker yeah. rolls a dice first, and then we try and beat the combination thrown. Yeah, so you basically just roll 5d6 and try to get the pairs and three of a kinds and higher numbers, with one being the highest. 1, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2. Like you said, that you have a bit of a sentimental uh, attachment to me. I have a bit of a sentimental attachment to this game. How's a well, full house weaker than a four of a kind? He sort of uh, looks at you and smiles again. I hate to ruin it for you, but if you insist, you shall be our let's, dealer. Let's set the terms of this wager first. <laughs> Very well. Has he agreed? If I win, you will join me with the compromise I offered, where my better angels delay the Americans so your friends escape. And what would you have if you win? You call off the Americans. You let us go. And uh, you tell me why you need them. What location that you're after. What object you're after. You extract a heavy price. And I take it how it lose your membership in this scenario as well. Of course. Well... It's risky, but you know, when he sort of sits down and for the first time you see like this devilish grin on his face, 
I'm something of a gambling man myself. <laughs> you see the fucking devil's own luck mark on his ear? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Actually, my father was Darby. My father was <laughs> he raised me. I think, I think Bats is gonna go get the dealer that gave him the tarot reading um, last session. Oh, absolutely, absolutely. <laughs> What was his fucking accent? He had. I remember he had a borderline offensive accent. Wasn't he French? Uh, we oui, we. Oui. Oh yes, yes. Ah, uh, the cards. They speak to me. So I understand you are needing a dealer for your game. Klondike. Ah, je suis Klondike. <laughs> Everyone yeah. in the party goes silent and locks in when they hear Klondike. <laughs> Is someone playing Klondike? Oh my it's, god, it's like Klondike. a real. That's a real man. Grease is over, and he's off. He, because he just comes over, he like backs away as he sees the fans just radiating from the cards. <laughs> I like to think Klondike is a gambling game, not for like cheap change, but for like real shit. Like, that's how li lives are on either end of the scale when Klondike's in play. It's a shadow game. <laughs> I was just, I was just picturing like fucking Genesis like fending people off who were trying to join. Like they approach the table and he strikes them all he down. Like, with the other, them. other people are gambling around Klondike. They're like one hundred dollars on the man with the assless chaps. Wait, no, that's Billyo. <laughs> <laughs> well, I don't know what Bats looks like. The $100 on the Italian guy. He's wearing a nice suit. A nice brown 70s ass suit. How is Genesis dressed right now? Because I literally can't imagine him as anything but ghetto with the robe. He's, uh, he's wearing a tuxedo. Ooh. Oh my god. I need you to win this game of Klondike more than I've ever needed anything in my life. I need you to right, bring Bird right. Boy here. I'm just I'm re I'm rereading the rules really quick. Okay. You just roll five dice. Uh, one is the highest number, and then otherwise the higher the better. Right. And right. then basically the higher of a suite, so like three, two, three, four of a kind better. Uh, I don't know why the fuck Fool House is under four of a kind because it's harder to get than a four of a kind. Also, how I guess you can only get five of a kind. It's weird because you say it's a card game, but there's no way to get five of a kind. There's only four suites, Tan. Well, I didn't make this game. This is a real game. Well, it's you a, could get five. It's a game. It says five. here it's a game that uses dice, but but you specifically said it was a card game. But there's five dice. Yeah. Or six dice, so you could get five of a kind. I don't know why you come no, into no, no. me about the rules. This isn't my game. It's not an original creation. This is a real thing. All right. Five. No, no, no. I'm, I'm just saying it's a dice game, but you called it a card game. Oh, okay. Well, uh, well, that's how you can get five of a kind. You roll five dice. Right. All right, you got this. Go for it. Okay, okay. So how many rounds should this shall we play? Best of five? Oh, Best of five so sounds evil. good. <laughs> oh, dude. <laughs> Time to use your signature bats trick dice you got in the Mafia as a present oh, from the dawn. <laughs> So, um, usually the banker rolls the dice first, but I feel like there's no real point to that yeah, here. No, so fuck the banker, this is just head-to-head. -head. He, yeah, he's just there to set up this cheating. <laughs> the banker's like, re yeah, he's the referee, he was ready to play, and then he sensed their auras, and he cowered. I cannot get too close, the future is changing! <laughs> he looks at his tarot teams. cards, they're all like, the, the surface of his tarot cards are all burning off, and just the tower. And maybe, just maybe, maybe, maybe Genesis agreed to this because there's so much destiny at play here that it's increasing the morphogenic fields, so they're coming sooner. <laughs> That's all now. Wow. So we're just I going against each other's combos? Exactly, yeah. Okay. okay. So each round, whoever gets better. Well, I should be gracious and allow you the first roll. Uh, all right. And Bats, uh, he takes the dice and 66, right? Uh, 5d6. 5d6, right. Okay. Hang in there, Dune. I'm actually looking tense. <laughs> what do you get? Uh, rolls. He got a two of a kind six. That's not bad. That's a high. That's the second highest number, but right. only a two pair. Or one pair. Sorry. Yeah, no, it's a it's a one pair. Yeah. 
And so you see uh, Genesis take the dice and lifts up of his head and starts shaking them around his hand. But it's not just not right. You can see his hands are moving so fast it's blurring. He's like, yeah, he's like a 10 year old playing Yahtzee where they take like 30 like, seconds. But you hear the sound, the rattling sound becomes so fast that it's like a mournful wail <laughs> of the dice. And his hands go, the menacing <laughs> symbols appear with every shake. Throw. Did you know the first dice was made from human bones? And he lets them go. And he, he like a shotgun blast of dice into the table before him. And he loses. <laughs> oh, I'm still, we're still in this. No, no, but they got one. You guys got one pair and you got uh, the higher. So you get the first yeah, one. Yeah, I, I won. Yeah, I won. Hell yeah. Well, these things do happen in a game of luck. Still feeling confident? Pillar man? He sort of narrows his eyes. Perhaps I'll work on your language after you join. <laughs> Is there a more proper term, politically correct term, for Pillar Man? <laughs> we were only called Even that after pillar we were men call the themselves Pillar Men for some reason. <laughs> He's self hating Pillar Man. <laughs> you are right for a British guy. British, don't call me that. <laughs> that's when, that's when we uh, that's when we talk to Tan though. Yeah. <laughs> Genetically replicated British. After this. the British went as you went they... first last round, I suppose I'll go first this round. <laughs> After go the... ahead. What were you saying, Jack? After the last British went extinct, they had to recreate the colonizers from Doctor <laughs> Who. <laughs> Alright, throw those dice, Tan. Oh, another pair of well, three of a kind! No! Oh, is, uh, the ominous Latin <laughs> chanting begins. I love that three's his like signature number too. The fucking Kiro's theme kicks in. Be familiar with the rule of three. Come on. The comedy rule? Bats, you can do this! <laughs> You're not even here. Oh, is this like another like person? Yeah, it's you, like, another bats. guy. I'm playing the audience. <laughs> there you go. Oh, it's over for this fella. It's, that idiot will never win. Don't say that. Look at his face. I don't know who he is, but he's clearly fighting for something important to him. Don't laugh. You can do it, fella! Roll him dust! <laughs> Rule of three, huh? For? Don't you have some sort of long-winded monologue you want to tell me? No. Some ancient wisdom? Get his ass. Kill him! I found no wisdom that's able to convince the dice of the log of the logic. Nice one, Genesis. Fuck you. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Turns that Bat. guy into Ash like Dr. Manhattan. <laughs> <laughs> Bats, uh, Bats uh, spits in his hand and shakes the dice around. And he throws them as hard as possible to the point where they uh, they clash against um, Genesis's dice that are on the table. So it's like, a fly. It's like <laughs> slow motion, like his will fighting Genesis's. <laughs> right, 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 right. There's a brief lightning strike between the two of them. Yeah, and it like cuts in your faces and the reactions of several random audience members and the referee. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> Maria. Oh, where's that confidence face come? Actually, That's... you know what's funny? You did roll a perfect straight. <laughs> I, well, I was going to say, is there not a straight in this game? The rules are as they are written. <laughs> <laughs> I, I homebrewed that one out. Dealer, that was a straight. What the, what the fuck? I'm afraid it's not apply to the holy game of Klondike. When it was practiced in uh, Aztec times, they did not uh, account for these. It's because everybody in JoJo is gay, so a straight means nothing. If only you had got the gay card. <laughs> or dice. God damn it. All right, all right, all right. Look, it's one loss. It's not that big of a deal, Bat says as he gestures to the crowd. Are you sure? Your the friends are fighting for their lives. Nervously. Your <laughs> friends are fighting for their lives right now. Can you really afford to waste time so justifying your failures? You're right. Uh, without wasting any further time, Bats throws the dice. An old member of your gang's in the crowd. Ooh, Come ah. on, Bats, show why we call you Fast Hands. There we go. They There's called him hair. Fast Hands? Fast Hands, Bats. What, is that? what did he mean by this? <laughs> two, fast two, Hands, six. huh? Not bad. Oh, fuck. <laughs> 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 oh. 
What? What's wrong? Shit! Are you losing your nerve? Burns! <laughs> could it be this that guy. you... Could it be that subconsciously you've already accepted defeat and just simply making it so now? Oh, if there's God. a surrender lingering on your tongue, I'd be happy to accept it and save you the trouble of throwing more dice. I gotta think, I gotta think, Bat says to himself as he has a flashback to when he was playing dice in like the the back corner of like a mob hideout as a child. And he's thinking of all the ways that he could cheat against the old guys, but there's this this old Italian guy in the corner, this real fat guy. He's like, Bats, you're never gonna win as a cheetah. Cheetahs always lose. You just gotta trust in the dice. Even if you win the game, you lose in your heart. <laughs> I'm like I'm on the edge of my seat. I need him to win. Genesis is gonna throw the next pair, right? First, okay. somewhere in the crowd, a little boy goes, "You're not gonna lose, are you?" <laughs> <laughs> Why is there a little boy here? You beat the bad man, right? It's the <laughs> senator's son. If it's the senator's son, you need to kill him immediately. <laughs> Why kill him? Not even take him off. Hunched over There's the table, Genesis looks up at you. That's watch closely, Christopher. It's your fate I'm throwing. Oh my god, that was hard. Oh, fuck, pair of fours. I need you to beat this, Bats. I need you to beat this. Eh. One pair. Alright, old man, this one's for you. I throw these dice for Big Louie. And who? also my other friends, who, who I'm trying to save. Can he spend luck to, like, get a call? Oh, Ooh. hey! Yo! There we go. Big Louie! Big Louie shines on like a JoJo ghost <laughs> above you. <laughs> Big Louie! It's a character we've never seen before. It's just like a fat Italian dude who's like so, curling his mustache. This is always the way of a good game anyway, isn't it? Yeah, neck and neck. Oh my God, it's good so to see that your life. concentration at least is unbreakable. Now. Concentration is unbreakable. <laughs> Throw those dice and show us what shape the future will take. Klondike is unbreakable. What is the shape of your soul, Bats Bucko? It's Buko, he says to the voice in the crowd. <laughs> ah, sorry, bud. You can do All it, right. mister. Show him what you're made of. Here we go. <laughs> Yo! Holy shit! The number of the beast. This is like the moment where everyone's super confident bats and then he rolls a five of a kind somehow <laughs> and Genesis is like, oops, it seems I've done it again. You see, your sweat melted the numbers off this dice. <laughs> oh my god, three six is pretty good. Surely he can't beat that. Yeah! Somebody in the crowd's like, this, this guy, he has the luck of the devil on his side. Three sixes. And you, you, you see three mold that zooms in. Why, on this one's here. so much better than the fight against Darby, where you guys had to <laughs> cheat to win. <laughs> well, we, you, we keep that as a Darby. <laughs> oh my god. Genesis back the fuck off forever. Genesis hey, frowns man. down the table. More like What do you think about this? the uh, occult significance of that, huh? I thought you said my ass was going to get whooped in those... Um, what are they called? Those carrot cards. But this it cannot be. He looks down at all those cards, and they, they've all changed to uh, like happy, happy versions of the pictures. They've turned. The they've turned white, like when you lose a Yu-Gi-Oh card. <laughs> <laughs> the fate has been broken. Genesis is just sort of looking down at the dice and drumming his fingers on the table. Meanwhile, Persuvius, no one else can see this is being blasted back into the wall by the sheer fanciness and cratering it. Oh my god. It seems... Well, Genesis, I'm waiting on you. <laughs> How long has it been since I felt the stink of defeat? Very well. Interesting. So I... I, I... If I recall correctly, I uh, call off the better angels, allow you to escape, and tell you the reason for my seeking out the American ally. Including the That's location. Right. Very well. I'll have not have it said that I'll break my promises. 
who snaps his fingers. And immediately, all the rest of you who are just about to leap into your battles with the better angels suddenly find yourselves all within the same uh, main reality again. All just sort of some of you were maybe in the air, like dodging attacks, about to attack, and you just drop out the, uh, into that meeting room. Ah! Well, wait, we uh, bats didn't win yet. This is yeah. out of five. Yeah, you won. That was your third win. What are you talking about? What? Oh, wait. Yeah, all right. Okay. <laughs> it's out of five, not five wins. Out of yeah. five. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, okay. okay. Words would be here forever. <laughs> and as Genesis stands up to go, he sort of adjusts his tuxedo. Seven days from now, the location, Mount Rushmore. If you want to try and stop me, that's where I'll be. Of course they're going to the stolen land. Which are also, like, sacred mountains to the natives. Yeah. If you wish to stop me, then make your way there. Otherwise, he looks back at you. These are the last seven days of the world as you know it. And well, as he well, says, well, like... You better okay. honor your last part of the deal. You didn't tell me why you need the Americans, though. You really do seek to extract every last concession from me, don't you? Hey, I beat you in Klondike. Yeah, that's true. Why does he need the Americans' permission to go to Mount Rushmore? You can't get over the velvet rope? Beneath Mount Rushmore is a secure bunker, designed in the event of an apocalyptic scenario to house the uh, elites of the American government. In that bunker, there is a system to communicate with satellites in orbit. That's what I really need. Who has the... Now, Tan. Who has the, um, uh, the flower? No, uh, no, you don't. Ha you didn't bring it with you, <laughs> right? Right. Yeah, okay. So it's still, K is still extracting whatever from uh, it. Right? Yeah, it's being, uh, the science okay. team is uh, looking into it. Yeah. I was gonna say, how fucking cool would it have been if Bats turned like maybe like the suit protector on like his um his suit into like you know, or or if it like or if he put the bullet in like the world's tiniest pistol he had and used this opportunity to take a shot at him. Or something like that, but or you know, go hear a consolation prize and you pull the flower out and throw it in his face and he just starts having right. the <laughs> asthma attack. <laughs> I mean, we we don't need to shoot it into him. For all we know, he just needs to be around it, right? Yeah, he's allergic. Maybe it's an airborne allergy. All right. Anyways. Well, as I said, I'll give you now an opportunity to make your escape. He sort of cracks his neck, and as he does so, like out of his body bursts into a giant wave of mist and fog, like like warp of it, water vapor just exploding out and covering the fucking building, like all the way up to that meeting room, like creating a giant smoke screen. You can just hear shouts of confusion from the pie goers. Ugh. Hey, pretty I good, think... huh? Bat says as he gestures back to the crowd. I think Vasily, as like, you know, he picked himself up off the floor where he just teleported, goes, and he sees Bats and he says, pardon my French, but what the hell just happened? Uh, I'll explain once we get out of the, uh, the party. They think it was an elaborate magic show, I think. You guys good? Where's everybody else? I was just fighting the sniper. I <sighs> interrupted again. All right. Well, I mean, I saved your asses. You guys look so sad. No, no. You're what happened? I I appreciate it. It's just God. No you matter what move. we do, they're always one step ahead. How? <laughs> you guys just wait. I got some good info, and it's all right here. Bat says as he takes out the recording cylinder that captured everything. Uh, Genesis said. Oh, what uh, what's that? I'll explain when we get back. But basically, I had a little run in with uh, Genesis. And you got info out of him. I yep. <laughs> Through a card game, nonetheless. Oh, great. This shit again. I imagine and he then... like, goes to play a sample and like meaning to show us Genesis conversation. It's like chapter one, what it means to be a hero. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, you can hear the, when Bat says it was a card game, you could hear the dealer in the back going, It is a dice game! It is a dice game. It was far more than just a game. <laughs> it is a way of life. <laughs> All right, I don't suppose there's any use hanging around here anymore, is there? 
No, I mean, the meeting was a bust. Moving. Oh, can we right. kill the senator? Because he doesn't deserve We already death. did, remember? Oh, yeah. Cool. Okay, let's did go. You? you killed... Oh, yeah. Remember, though, the, the, you saw one senator in the room, one senator at the party previously. Oh, yeah. You guys killed the senator? We can kill his kid, at least. Yeah, Jesus. I was going to say, you're leaving that kid without a father. That might you bite might his as ass in a few years. Yeah, it's more ethical Actually, to leave this a father is a without pretty... his kid. <laughs> This is a pretty serious situation, so I'll give you permission on this one, Chelsea. To kill the senator? Uh, that or take his kid, whichever one you're feeling up to. As as a mother myself, I don't know if I can morally do that to I a child. I was gonna say, this is kind but of But killing the senator would be my pleasure. Allow me. I'll help you track him down. Bats, Vasily, you two get out of here. Are you sure you don't want us to kill the kid, too? No! He's Why is that what's so sad? He's a child! Well, I just said, it could bite us in the ass years down the line. You leave a kid without a father, he's gonna grow up with a chip on his shoulder. Yeah, that's okay. actually true. That's true, Isn't but you kill a kid, kid and you're no better than the better angels. I mean, uh, yeah, so that's not low gonna, you can go. That's not gonna work on me. Alright, <laughs> we'll get out of here, though. I'll extract, <laughs> I'll extract rivers in the lion. This is crazy. The mafia members I know from Italy would never harm a child. They would protect them and watch over them awkwardly. Right, right. <laughs> Buy them ice cream. All right, yeah, let's go. Let's kill this guy. Okay, um, so you're trying to find the senator. I just want to shoot a bullet at him as I say, here's my contribution to your super pack. <laughs> <laughs> so the whole building's like filled with mist. People are trying to like, evacuate outside, so, um, I'm going to do what, my undead sense, and I am going to... Is, do I still feel Scraggly's body? You do. If I bring him back as an undead, would he have a stand? Um, Probably not, no. No, that is soul manipulation. I will bring back um, Scraggly as a minion, uh, and I'm going to... Fuck. Hmm. No, that's not... You know what? No, shut up. I'm trying to think what? of what we can do to track the senator. Uh oh, uh, he's a Texas senator, right? Yes. I scanned the crowd for ten gallon hats. You see so Everell. Yeah. Um I'm gonna go with whichever one's the largest and start running towards it. It's like a fucking <laughs> Okay, so you see, uh, like running ahead of the pack, rest of the pack to get out of this um, this mist that's engulfed the building. You can see the senator pumping his arms um, and shouting angrily at his nearby security detail as he retreats like out into the back, back like expansive backyard. Oh, he certainly tries. Um, how many bodies are in the backyard? Bodies? Yeah. How many people has he killed and buried in his backyard, if any? There's none. None. Okay. Not even animal. Yeah, he keeps not the, even he animal keeps bones on the golf course. It was like trace the trace amounts of animal bones you expect like in any sort of place adjacent to nature. No dead moles or foxes or rabbits. No. All right. It almost feels like a plot hole that this guy hasn't like killed. He doesn't do it. And house. Buried them. I said, yeah, oh, I said fair he enough. Keeps them on the golf course. Wait, this is a Texas. Yeah, this is a Texas senator, right? Yeah. <laughs> Does he have tigers? No. <laughs> you say that, Tan, but you, I feel like you need to understand there are more tigers owned in Texas by rich people than there are in the wild. Yeah, it's pretty likely that he has tigers, Tan. It's, it's a big thing. You go down to Texas, everybody has a tiger. Not, not that tigers. much, but like every rich person pretty much has tigers. No, no, no. We have to convince Tan that this is a staple of American culture. He doesn't know any better. Uh, look up, look up right now, tigers in Texas. I don't want to. I, I understand. <laughs> but... so, does he have tigers? <laughs> How about There's you roll tigers on it? At the why, why don't you roll on it? Would you give us that? No, I don't want to. This guy's so evil coded. All right, fine. Can I see him in the fucking backyard? Um, yes, you can. I, I shoot him boring style. Okay, so you fire a bullet at him? Yeah, my bone bullet. Uh, okay, roll for strike. <clears throat> That's uh, over here. Sorry, I'm just checking real quick. Strike is a power and precision. I can do that. Uh, 
Any advantages? Question mark. Uh, no. Okay. Two successes. Okay. I feel like this guy's like a normal human, right? He's not gonna have much defense, anyways. One, two, three, four, five, thought. six. Wait, what? Um, the bullet flies towards the senator, and right before it would hit him, a hand lances out of the air and plucks it out the air, the bullet out of the air between two fingers. Ooh, it as you see the bullet, the... you say? Uh, yes. I control it so the bullet explodes in the shrapnel to hit him in the hand. Well, he's not grabbing it. Yeah, but the hand is, right? Okay, yeah, the stand hand grabs it. But, yeah, um... I'm going to explode it in the stand hand, which would subsequently hurt him if it hits. Okay, well, let me finish uh, describing what the, him and grabbing it first. Sure, go ahead, sorry. Um, so as Low Roar, the stand of Devard Devard, steps out of thin air, um, and he plucks it out of the air, basically protecting the senator, who, who sort of falls back onto the floor, like, gaping at it. And, then... and uh, Devard Devard, Devard um, it pops in his hand, sort of blows some fingers off. Um, and he, Devard Devard himself, the uh, leader of this new uh, American organization, sort of steps out, looks to adjusts his orange tie. I would have thought you'd have made your escape by now. How foolish. I would have thought you'd be more interesting by now. How dull. <laughs> what? You, Got his ass. You have one trick. You walk out and you clone stuff. You don't impress me. Step aside. Do you have a cold? Yeah, sorry. <laughs> it's because I'm sick of your bullshit. I hand mm. Chelsea a tissue as she's making her own zones. <laughs> so, just to clarify, so did uh, did um, Vasily and Bats actually leave, or are you still here? We left. I'm, okay, you left. Yeah, we grabbed uh, Rivers and Mbube, and we we're out of here. Okay, so the only people here right now are Chelsea and uh, Driver in this back part. The, 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 fact that, mm, was... the fact that Mbube was here truly means you missed out by not having Tigers here, because they could have had a big cat off. <laughs> or, like, Mbube could have pleaded I'm not, to, to join sorry. the cause. <laughs> There's no Tigers here, I'm sorry. <laughs> Guy's evil. But a uh, driver. So, are you also like with Chelsea right now? Yeah. Okay. So both of you back. Oh, so I'm boring. Yeah. How about him? Is he any more interesting? He's on nods behind the two of you. Who? Uh, I Someone's. Look, I look to where he nods. Someone steps out of the uh, the house. Ha ha! Well, quite the sterling introduction you gave me there, Devard. <laughs> and you see the hulking figure. Of Masterson, stump amp out of the back of the uh, the American Manor. Oh, I always knew you were bad news. This you were completely so justified in your hatred of him all along. <laughs> I know, and it's so vindicating. Chelsea, Chelsea's actually <laughs> excited minute. at this reveal. Chelsea, this means they knew who our boss was all along. Yeah, but I'm just so happy that I have a reason to hurt him. Apologies for the deception, but I had to defend our dear motherland. Uh, Homeland. Don't care, didn't ask. Uh, plus, I shoot you. Fantastic. Anyway, why don't we re relive old times and play some billiards together? He just runs towards you and goes to punch you in the face, Chelsea. Uh, he can, but I'm gonna explode the bullet that Devad was holding. Oh, wait, I already, already did, did that. Uh, he already destroyed it. Did, um, uh, okay. You can blow the shrapnel up. Uh, as he, um... As um, he runs to Chelsea, um, I want to have it so that a projected eight ball like slams him in the face. Like, <laughs> yeah, sure, I'll play billiards with you. Oh fuck yeah! It's the precursor to oh god, what was his name from Havoc Moon? Yuzo. Yuzo, yeah, it's the precursor. Right, okay. So, who's actually... Because he's going to be doing a uh, strike here, basically, is his thing. Who's I actually going passing... against this? Okay, so... Uh, I, I want to let Jack do his thing, because that's cool, but... Oh, I guess yeah, if a... I do a counterattack, that would... That... Um, yeah, and I'm already at two out of can three. Can I have it so it? that it's kind of like a parry, so that I have him, like, slip on the ball instead? Uh, I'll allow it. You can roll a parry for that. Yeah, I'll pass yeah. my reaction to Jack, then. So... Harry, in this case, will be wit and durability. Right. Do I get a rule of cool for that being fucking funny? Oh, uh, yeah, sure. Uh, are you holding to your ideals as well? No. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. It's not. 
That's one, two, three, four, five. You are sticking oh. up for the little guy. Chelsea's just a little guy. That's so true. One, How two, short is Chelsea three. again? And she's literally, <laughs> and he's literally standing up to the wealthy and powerful. We're fighting a senator and his, oh, and his goons. I'm just saying, Tan, it's a system made to stack advantages. <laughs> and I feel like this, this applies. Only, only you don't, you know, your team blight and Jack's better at it. Wow. <laughs> and bullying me to give advantages. Wow. Yeah, I gaslight Tan is the thing. But this is how he would get it. You're too desperate. Wow, okay. I'll remember this next time I run something. Remember your whole life. It doesn't help you. Remember when <laughs> Bird Boy's leg goes at a 90 degree angle when he's running away? <laughs> Spontaneously. <laughs> Uh, but yeah, so if I understand correctly, you're using this as like a parry. So is he punching and then you're making the able in his path, it like slides off the edge? Or... I, yeah, I, as he's like running to Chelsea, I'm making it so that like the ball appears under his foot and he like slips on it like Looney Tunes style. So yeah, he, he does like slip over, like does a flip and, and lands uh, on, on the ground. Ha <laughs> ha, you and your devilish tricks. I, I like... of you. I, I'm like spinning like a projected billiards ball on, on on like the tip of my finger, and I'm like, "You're the one who wanted to play." <laughs> Indeed. And so at this point, we are going. And to I think have like that. I think Chelsea and like Dante are like back to back right now. Oh fuck yeah! Let's go. Do a wheelie on his fucking head. So just yeah. with this turn order, I'm about to put. Uh, let me just see if this works for you. We're gonna do so many duo actions; it's not even funny. Fuck yes. Oh man, remember that idea I sent you, Darnell? Um, can you resend it to me and I'll reread it on my phone real quick? Yeah, hang on. Wonder what they're showing each other. <laughs> Does that look okay then, or? I love that. Let's do it. Yeah. Does the yeah, does the turn order look okay? <laughs> do you want me to say it, or shall I, Jack? Uh, yeah, sure. You can go ahead. Driver, if we want to win, we have to fight in perfect sync. On it. Hell yeah! And our fucking auras merge. Our our mental auras. Into one it's like color. it's like double the menacing symbols. <laughs> yeah. Let's do this. So Tan, we're we're doing something really fun um, okay. for us anyway. All, all our actions are going to be dual heats. Oh shit! <laughs> all our actions are reactions. The bard looks as at your changed aura. He sort of ra raises his eyebrows. Seems they're going all out, Masterson. Perhaps we should do the same. <laughs> Is he gonna, <laughs> the, the established duo of Devon and Masterson. Yeah. Uh, indeed. We did, brother. We did create this organization together, after all. They rip their shirts off and they have matching tattoos. Yeah, they did. Absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> it flashes it's back like to their when they introduced to Darby's little brother. <laughs> no, it's like fucking Toto and Yuji's backstory of like exactly how they grew up together. The <laughs> <laughs> oh, let's do it. So then, shall we begin cooking? <laughs> Indeed, let's. <laughs> Hold on, I can find so, a gift to match your temper. So basically, the turn order at this point is Devon and Masterson and then Chelsea and Driver. Basically. <laughs> is that right? It's like fucking Mario and Luigi. <laughs> this is Mario and I, I tried to find a menacing gif of Gone and Killua together, but it's all just them doing playful slice of life shit. <laughs> I know, it sucks. <laughs> there, that's the best I can do. <laughs> our, our eyeballs simultaneously start expanding. I don't know what's happening there. No, it's because they got monk arrests. Yeah. Vine <laughs> boom sound effect as we watch this happen. <laughs> as you see them begin cooking. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm so ready. Let's do this. Right. Okay. So, um, last one to move was actually Masterson, so it's driver's turn, basically. Right. Or. <laughs> Drelsy's turn. Drelsy versus Dasterson. Oh, uh, you got any ideas, Darnell? 
Uh, I'm thinking you sh- could do, uh, like, uh, I'm trying to think. I like the idea of, like, how much bone and skin do I have to work with right now, Tan? Um, you have your bullets. Uh, you have Simon Scraggly's body. I like the idea that, like, you get a running start on your motorcycle and, like, I construct uh, a pathway before you that makes, like, a little ramp for you to do a sick jump and bash someone with the wheel. Yeah, sure, why not? Let's do that. <laughs> um, like Darnell said, um, I suddenly, like, um, jump in the air and, like, um, my bike forms under me and I, like, slide across the ground before getting into, like, a driving start. Uh, it starts speeding ahead, uh, Chelsea forms a ramp, and then I try to, like, slam into Master Sin- Master Vod. <laughs> Master Vod. Uh, yeah, what would we okay. roll for that, Tan? So, part of it is, like, you making the ramp, and the other part is you running, basically, speeding. So, yeah. part of it would be speed, I would say. Should it be a maneuver, maybe? Yeah. Alright, uh, body and speed. I have not great body, but I have pretty okay i have three speed two body what's your uh, i have my speed is five so and your body's four so i think we'll it's about the same regardless of what we do so you can do speed. and you'll have an advantage on this as well of course yeah. and i'll do body yeah that works for me that's four for me all right and then Oh, another one from me for five total. Okay, so as you you drive off the ramp and begin plummeting towards uh, Masterson and Devar, Devar goes, Masterson, defend! <laughs> Masterson... Um... You're just giving him an order. <laughs> <laughs> That's not true synchronization. You can't beat us with such a good like, thrusts both his hands out, and then in a bizarre mix between his own powers, like, make, like, duplicates of things... And the symmetry ability of Devard Vard, his arms like spread and copy into like an a tree of fucking limbs that's trying to like grab this arm out this bike out of the air. Ooh. Just countless yeah. arms coming out of his elbow is like branching off. And that's gonna be a uh, aura like aura, basically. The, the aura like aura, aura yeah. alchemist yet. For real. So it will be power from uh, Master Sim, which is five D six. And if you wanna give them an 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 advantage, that's fair. Okay, if you say so. No. <laughs> and speed from Devard Devard, so which is four. So it's 96 with advantage as Darnell has requested. I didn't request. I just said it would be reasonable because <laughs> that's a cool move. Ooh, and yet four, they suck two, so bad. Three, four, five. Ooh. It's equal. Boo. Uh, how does that work then? Um, when it's equal, the defending one doesn't take damage. Okay, so you don't get like grabbed out the air or anything, um, driver, but you are your bike gets tangled in the tree of arms and can't quite reach its destination. You're left sort of, sort of hanging in the air here. It's like when you're going over a bunch of pothills. Exactly. Well, you're sort of hanging in the air in this proverbial tree. Oh man! And with that, we go to uh, Devard and Devard's turn. So seeing you hanging up in the air, um, he he goes to the natural next week. He just takes out his gun. Like tosses it to the side, his stand grabs it out of the air and points it at you, um, driver, and pulls the trigger six times. So he's going for a uh, snipe here. And he's doing it just by himself. This isn't a dual heat. Uh, uh, so you'll never beat us precision. with shitty... You'll never beat us with shitty teamwork like that. <laughs> <laughs> Are we going to do the classic bone shield? Yeah. Yeah, our classic signature move. So that's, that's one, two, three, four. That's a protect. Chelsea, right? double up. Hell yeah. Protect speed and durability, Tim? Um, let me check. Because I'm protecting him with bone shield and he's copying the other half of the bone shield. Uh, that's right, yes. Speed and durability. Uh, my durability is pretty good and your speed's pretty good. So let's go. Yeah. With that. I have four durability. Speed is like my the main point of driver, but yeah. <laughs> go for it. You do speed. All right, um, I got one success. Oh, no, I was looking. Oh, but yeah, we both got one. Fuck. Uh, so you make the bone shields, but perhaps you, you tried to make it too quickly. It wasn't quite strong enough because the bullets, it gets the first, like, three of them, protects me from that. And then the, the, the fourth, like, smashes through it, and then two, you feel two bullets slam one into your side and one into your leg, uh, driver. No! Driver coon! <laughs> 
and you were bragging so much about your teamwork. <laughs> oh man, they do. So they driver does no take a hit. Way. Yeah, it's fine. So I'm thinking for our attack, and please feel free to also come up with ideas. I don't want to hog the show here. Go right ahead. But just how they did like the clone thing with Masterson's hands, I kind of like the idea of like your duplicate to the bone. So like the bone shield unfurls, comes down, and turns into like a scythe that tries to chop Masterson's head off. Yeah, sure. Unless since you're like on top of him right now, he's holding you right above him. And we can like attack him from both directions. Hell yeah, exactly. Like closing in on him like a scythe of blades. All right, what would that be, Tan? So it's like a pincer attack, both sides. So basically yeah. the shield unfurls into like a blade and tries to chop downwards towards his head, like through the arms. Like a guillotine. Yeah, exactly. Um, I would say that's going to be like... Uh, Maybe hmm. over... Neutralize. Pinnacle? Neutralize, okay. Power and reason. Would, yeah, because that's like the aim coming in through the reason and stuff. So uh, my power is five. What's your reason? Uh, my reason is three. My reason's four. What's your power? Okay, yeah, so let's do my power, your reason. Yeah. Right. Any advantages? Uh, yeah, because it's a smart idea. I'll give you an advantage for that. Ah! Alright, that's three from me. Two from me. Yeah! Die, Masterson! <laughs> Shanae! Okay, so as it's rocketing down towards, uh, Masterson's, uh, neck, he looks up at uh, Hulk and, um... Devard, um, get, like, for a arm forward, it seems he's trying to do his copy thing to make a copy of Madison before he is killed. So he is going for race here, so his speed is plucking speed. Seventy-six. We'll never beat our teamwork. Yeah! Okay, and... So as Masterson looks over to Devard as the thing is coming down, because he can't quite break away with this massive tree of arms, and he goes, Devard, what are you doing? Help me! And it <laughs> seems like instead, in that moment, Devard instead tried to make a copy to replace him before he died, and that incorrect move spelled, uh, spelled defeat for them. As the guillotine comes down and smoothly slices uh, Masterson's head from his neck. Oh my god. Can we, like, hit his head at Devad Devad like a pool, <laughs> pool cue? It bounces off the ground, we, like, both punch it together, like, yeah. straight at him. You know what, Master said? Let's play billiards one last time! <laughs> we right back our fists. Yeah. You see, like, he, he, his head giant... is so conscious in the second you say that to him, and you just see him, like, clench his teeth in rage. You know what I, I do? I a he... giant pool billiard stick. He He's dead, right? Uh, yeah. So the rest of his body, uh, as Jack, uh, as Driver, pro like, projects a pool stick, the rest of his body, like, fucking Mahito with the human swords, I turn everything but the head into, like, one human pool stick to hit his head with. <laughs> so you strike it towards the and he sort of, his, his, his own stud, like, bucks the head out of the way, destroying it in the process. Whew. And he sort of, Devard takes a step back, um, he glances between the senator and you, and he sort of mutters to himself, our organization is vital for homeland defense. What's one mere senator in the face of that? Apologies, sir. I must make my way out of here. And he turns and begins to flee, leaving the senator. <laughs> Not like a cool flee, like a full arm run. He's like Joseph Joe start running. Um, I, hold, I hold up a hand to high five Chelsea. I fucking take that. Yeah, brother! Woo! Wait, ho hold on now. Uh, you know, Driver, I may not be a fan of Devad Devad, but I hate Texas Senators even more. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Let's not go talking about ourselves here. What we, was we your can... stance on um, abortion again, Senator? I'm curious. Well, if you must know. Well, that's not relevant right now. Um, you see, we're all reasonable people. We're all rational actors, wouldn't you say? I'm sure the 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 assistance of a man of my in my position could be of assistance to you. Yeah, maybe, but unfortunately for you, I'm not on. I'm not feeling so reasonable tonight. You know. So true. Let's kill him and celebrate with drinks. Hell yeah! And I imagine we like group. I like duplicate Chelsea's gun, and we like get back to back and just like start opening fire on him. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. Yeah. wait, 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 wait! Pump him full of lead. 
<laughs> he, is, he, he dances a demented dance as he dies when the bullets foot into him. Last thing you see is the ten gallon hat softly float to the ground full of holes. <laughs> that might this we, is that might have been while you two are bantering. <laughs> <laughs> There might have not been too much point to that because the whole Masterson twist, but damn, did that feel good. That felt so good. Let's get oh. out of here while we still have a chance, right? Hell yeah, let's move. Uh, and I, like, form the bike. I reach out to help Chelsea get on. Yeah, I grab his hand and jump on. As as I like as she, like, grabs my hand, uh, I start speeding off into the fucking... What, what time is it? Sunset? It's nighttime now. <laughs> I start speeding <laughs> off into the sunrise. Imagine if this was all, like, it's 7 p.m. It's, like, it's like, cloudy. It's like... <laughs> uh, and that's when we swoosh over. So, Bats and uh, Vasily, how exactly are you making your, your exit from this place? Well, I'd imagine the same way we came in on the, uh, the vehicles, didn't we? Oh, yeah, the truck. Who did we have driving that shit? Wasn't it uh, the guy oh, who yeah. made Grayson? Grayson as he returns to the car as he <laughs> yeah, drives. I imagine Grayson is getting us out of here. Yeah, he's driving like perfect, like a robot. <laughs> he's a big old traffic where's, loss. <laughs> where's Sergeant O? He looks at you. Don't worry about him. Oh, no, we need to worry about him because he's going to get us the fuck out of here. I will drive. Grayson, don't be fucking like, with me I now. I don't think it was bass boosted. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Tan has like a new echo dial on his mic. Mm, I don't Grayson, believe so. Do <laughs> don't know. Damn, rip Grayson, do not fuck with me right now. We I have think reviving gone. a dead person is like, because of like part four and five. No stand like, can bring back yeah. the dead. <laughs> Did Scraggly look on at us from heaven? Did he have his little Jojo ghost moment? Yeah, he's looking down at the dead senator. Is he like the fucking kid from part four that Kira kills? What's his name again? Uh, uh, Shigechi. Shigechi. Oh, Shigechi. He's like the Shigechi of our team. The senator just like woke up in the alley. <laughs> and fucking Simon Scraggly's there waiting for him. You see a single fly bring you a button from a coat. <laughs> uh... There is res on Devil Point. I drive there. It's okay. Oh, yeah, I forgot we had ah. this strange Russian guy with us. That's you like fine. music? I love music. You're not here. Oh, sorry. <laughs> How are we going to get uh, Chelsea and uh, Dante out? They miss car is their problem. They Driver's soul is shape of bike. He'll be, he'll be fine. Uh, well, are you go You know what? You're right. I don't know what I'm worried about. His name's Driver. He drives. My name is Grayson. And I Gray. I am son of Gray. Do you know him? I can't say I do. Good. Maybe. Oh, okay. Okay. We drive Isn't now. Isn't like fucking first of his name? <gasps> Grayson. He drive. He drive in silence. <laughs> Grayson, uh, what? You got music? Yes, I have radio. Can you? He does not turn make it any on? move to turn it on. <laughs> can you? What can you music turn it on? do you like? Uh, that's you a... notice that he's as he's asking you this, he's looking directly at you and not at the roads. <laughs> Bat, Bat slowly starts to realize that he doesn't actually like music. <laughs> uh, he takes you know his head further, almost to Exorcist levels to Vasily. What music you like? Vasily doesn't say anything. He just twists the dial to a random uh, spot. Okay. And he turns the volume up to max. I'm curious, does um, Grayson have any CDs in his car? And if so, what bands or artists? Um, yeah, well, in the back seats, because uh, who's it sitting in the back right now, then? Um, the Wait, were CDs, right? CDs even invented yet? I think so. No, 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 no. no, no. They have not been invented yet. 8-track, uh, whatever. Eight tra yeah, 8-track eight was 1964, so you'd have 8-tracks. Yeah, you can play that stuff. What do you have on there? 
Um, he's got yeah. all sorts. You've got like you, if you look down, like at some of them, like littering on the floor. You see, like, actually, yeah. Does he have Billy Joel? <laughs> piano yeah, yeah. but you don't see no. You see like piano recital, eighth grade. <laughs> Billy Joel, ten years before he was famous. Uh, Billy Joel had music from the early seventies. He wasn't super famous then, you know. He, Grayson is actually one of the uh, pioneering industrial noise musicians. He just listens to like fucking fans and like factory noises. My the sound of an ice scuba He was the very out. first like fan it's... of ASMR. It's just like people clicking at their fingers. There's really the trouble ahead. The dog experiment piece. It's it's popular seventies hits, but it's all recorded from his vocals, <laughs> so he didn't have to buy the songs. <laughs> All right. uh, what's next Tam uh, well Grayson is saying there is trouble ahead he sort of tightens his grip on the uh, on the wheel you will fight or do we drive what type of trouble he sort of um, moves his head trouble. he moves his head to reveal the badge trouble up ahead. It seems some cars have moved, like blocking the the, the highway, basically. Well, not a highway, just a sort of deserted road here. Like some cars have like formed a barrier, and you see um, some SWAT officers, um, so or like heavily armed sort of uniformed officers. And at the head of them, you see uh, Davide, um, the the other member of the American team, who's uh, looking forward with a determined, and for some reason, like um, outraged face. It seems. How the fuck did he get over there, Tan? Well, he was leaving when you got here, so presumably he started coming back when, once he heard the news. So he's... Wait, I'm sorry. He's in the road? Yeah, he's he, he's stopped in the middle of the road with all the cars blocking it's the way. not the same guy as Devon. No, Davide. He was the guy who used to be in your, like, Mafia? That's... Uh, oh, right, right, right. <sighs> so wait, okay, that's that's where, what I was confused. So who is this guy? Which he's, guy? He's not the FBI. This is agent, right? So fucking funny. So Davide, um, he, he he was he used to be part of your mafia. It turns out he was an undercover officer, right, and now and he's I had joined a this. With him last session. Yeah, right before he left the party. Okay, and he has some sort of roadblock set up now. Yeah, pretty. Yeah. All right, I was confused. I thought this was the bod bod, and I was fucking like, what? yeah. You know what? I, I I see you, and just for that, the time route just come and change his name to Davide. <laughs> What's so, his name now? It's Bavade. Bavade. Yeah, Bavade. Oh, Bavade. <laughs> this will prevent confusion in the future, surely. <laughs> Don't laugh. <laughs> oh, bat, bat, bat. <laughs> reaches up to Grayson. Oh, stop the car! Stop the car! Okay, I stop the car. He screeches the car to a halt. Uh, Bats rolls down the window. He cranks it down. What the fuck? The hell's going on, Bats? I hear you assassinated a senator. What are you talking about? We're leaving the party. So sort of looks over your shoulder to the, to the mansion in the back, like far in the distance. You can see like the red glow of fire. <laughs> Look, I left before that happened. I don't know what's going on over there. Neither do I. That wasn't us. <laughs> there was some chaos. Maybe a candle spill. <laughs> <laughs> what the hell's going what on here? Yeah. He, he seems generally like distraught. He doesn't know what's going on. I, I'm hearing that Scraggly's dead. What, what the hell is this? Who are you hearing anything from? <laughs> HQ, Devar, Devar, we got one of him back at HQ feeding us orders on these fucking, he sort of wrestles some strange, like, pod thing out of his ear. These fucking ear things. What is that? Oh, it's like a, it's like, you know, like a uh, phone? Yeah. It's like that, it goes in your ear, it's crazy. Oh, we got a guy who can, ah, uh, never mind. Uh, can you let us go through? I don't, you have some sort of blockade set up here, for what? For you, I got my orders. I'm, I'm not supposed to let anyone through. I was on my way to that mission I was telling you about, and they told me to hurry back because you, you guys had turned on us. So you're here to stop us? That's what that's what they're telling me to do, man. You it and does, I don't know. It don't it don't ring true. Yeah. What are you gonna th think about it like this, Bavade? Listen to me. You don't that's even have name, a fucking yeah. chance. 
Yeah, I do. No, you don't. Yeah, I do. I do. I, I, I <laughs> no. Do. Yeah, I do. No, you yeah. don't. You don't have a stand. I I've known you for years. You don't have a fucking stand. You can't do this to me. And how many other how many other agents are over I there? like I really enjoy gaslighting this guy into thinking he doesn't have a stand. <laughs> I do. This is my stand right here. It's Sting. A little purple wasp flies around him. Look, you see it? No, it's too tiny. You I can't see it because you've not got a stand, man. Oh, never mind. <laughs> this guy's the gaslighter. He's We've just been in this hold on. Self-defense gaslighting. All right, look. I'm not playing this game with you. How many people you got over there? I, I, I can't tell you that, man. You're going to let us like... go through. I am not picking a fight with you. I'm not picking a fight with your fucking group, either. Who's well, who's the guy in the back? Who's the guy with, with, with the face? He's pointing at you, Vasily. I'm John Walker. That's bullshit, I can tell. You're a big liar. Is Look, his, we is just his... got I've out of... He looks at you, but is, is his name John Walker? His name is John Walker. Yeah, oh, and we sorry. just got out of a we just got out of a a, a pretty rough situation, um, and I'm kind of riding the high of that right now. I really don't want to deal with any, uh, you know, no offense to you or your agency, but any low level bullshit right now. Can you just let us get back to headquarters? His eyes flicked between you and the mansion. He steps out of the way. Don't fucking tell anyone, okay? All right, thank you. And. uh... If you don't mind me asking. Yeah? Ah, uh, never mind. <laughs> oh, okay. I was going to say <laughs> just one more thing like Columbo. <laughs> <laughs> just, <laughs> just one more thing. Who did tip that candle over back at the mansion? How am I about to fucking know? <laughs> Baba day. So he's just going to let us go through? Yeah. Okay. So Thank he's going to let him go, Johnny? Exactly. That's what they're doing. Let him go, Johnny. <laughs> let him go, Johnny. I still quote "Let him go, Johnny." People have no clue what I'm talking about. This is just for me. <laughs> uh, Bats turns back to Vasily. Jesus Christ! Well, you can thank me for that one. For getting us involved. Thank you. <laughs> thank you, Grayson. I actually like for getting Grayson. us out. You're lucky I knew wasn't, that guy. Wasn't he after us because of you? No, no, no. It was actually the opposite. We just happened to be in the same area at different points in time. And, you know, we knew each other. You knew a guy, eh? Yeah, I did know this guy. Anyways, uh, fuck, well... If he's gonna let us through, he's gotta let Chelsea through and drive her. But I, I mean, I'm assuming they could get they could get by themselves. They could, uh, I guess, go around it or something. Grayson, how much what's the worst that could possibly be going the, on right now? In the background, you can see Chelsea and Driver literally flying away. <laughs> yeah, it's like the fucking ET scene. <laughs> Grayson, how much Chelsea go home? <laughs> Okay, and with your respective escapes from the aid, we do eventually fade back into the temporary headquarters uh, in the US here, which is basically in a big warehouse. As you all, all basically arrive around the similar times. Do we want to cut it soon, question mark, Dan? Um, I was, you guys, yeah, well, I, well, yeah, that's fine. I was just going to say, if you ain't want to do any talking before we, like, cut off... Uh, oh, I'm not feeling, um... Tired anymore, if that's concerned. Oh, okay. That woke me the fuck up. Yeah, if you if you're willing to go a little longer, I just remember you mentioned yeah. the shorter one. Um, no, yeah. I'm I'm good now. Yeah, I uh stroll up to driver and I go, hey, um, don't take this the wrong way because I'm not trying to say it weird or anything, but I don't think I've ever felt that in sync with someone before like that was nuts i don't know how you did that how we did that but it was like it's like i knew what you were gonna do and you knew what i was gonna do it's true that my stand like by its very nature is very compatible to working together with someone else's but i can i also have to say i've never felt that before either i, I think... know exactly what you mean 
I think your soul, our souls, like touched for a second. It was nuts. Yes, ma- yeah, maybe. Well, uh, I, if we can fight like that, even like a little bit from now on, I feel like that's gonna give us a huge power boost. I mean, we got to get the other two on the train with this. Although I'm gonna be honest, I don't want Vasily's soul anywhere near mine. I uh, I don't blame you. Vasily, I am right here. That? Hi, Vasily. Yo, what's up? Hey, uh, I didn't think you were there when I said things about you. As Chelsea's uh like stuttering, I'm like lighting up a joint right now. <laughs> That's what's up, vulgar. Oh, uh, what'd you say, Stigma? I said, ah, oh, what's that vulgar reek? Hey, <laughs> are you implying that was bats? <laughs> no, it's a joint. Oh. Hey, bats, don't bats, say that bugs. about bats. He smells great. Yeah, bats, think, oh, smells that's great. Nice. Right. That uh, smells terrible. Ever since you switched colognes, bats, much better. Thank you. You know, I wasn't using any clone before. I just kind of... Natural musk changed. Yeah. The course of the story <laughs> from character development. Now that he's, like, become straight edge, he needs to start bathing regularly. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, I handed over the recording over to Neil. He's transcribing it and going through it right now. So, Good work. Uh, I do have, well, for me, great news, but bad news for you guys and Neil. Um, turns out Masterson was a traitor. No shit. You know, I always hated that guy. No. Uh, right? I love that guy. Of course you did, Vasily. But uh, we chopped his fucking head off. He's dead. He's as dead as a doornail. I have his body and right here. I pull out the human pool stick. And the what fact the that fuck? Master Sim was Grayson part of... Grayson silently the... vomits in the corner. There's no like emotional reaction. He just stood there and then he like hunches over and vomits and then stands up straight again. <laughs> who, who did? Grayson. Grayson the drunk. Uh, Grayson is just with oh. us now. <laughs> uh, and the fact that Master Sim was part of the Better Angels... Well, that means they knew who our boss was this entire time. Yeah, so Neil, we should probably let him know, because he could be in danger. Well, not only that, I mean, Master Sim was usually at HQ, and how many times was he present in those meetings where we gave our recordings? Uh, He heard a lot. For real. And I mean, you know, if I was right about Master Sim, I'm probably right about Poindexter, so maybe we should hold some sort of investigation. Uh, I... I Concur. Willing to, I'd be willing to carry that one out personally myself. And Bats could be cocking his gun in the corner. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Readying his torture devices. We need to <laughs> we need we need to clean up good trouble. It is it is time for Oh my god, it's like the red scare. Right? <laughs> 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 Bruce, you're not with the better angels. I, I was just out to see my wife. I took the PTO. Like, no. DX you so you share like a pool table. What game is this? <laughs> That's how I know. The heart of evil says it's billiards. Anyway, it is billiards. Uh, not that it matters. Basili, oh, get off this fucking train. <laughs> you all turn in horror to look at Basili. <laughs> it's like that scene in the JJK with Yuji Shadow. <laughs> to be completely honest, gentlemen, I don't think it matters. We're coming to a head this next week with the Better Angels and. Quite frankly, who's a mole, who isn't, doesn't really matter at this point. We know what we know, and they know that we know, and that we're coming. Yeah. Mm. What's going to happen is going to happen either way. I'm ready to put an end to this. You said it was only seven days left, right? Seven days. That's what Genesis said. I say let's not wait. Let's go straight to Rushmore. Maybe we can beat him there, barricade ourselves in, keep him from the satellites. The only thing I'm thinking, though, of charging head first like that, you know, I don't think it's a trap. I can tell that this Genesis guy is genuine all the way through. But if we could let this information get out, see if there's any potential allies, military, CIA, anybody. That could assist us. I think relying that, that on. I'm not fond of the idea of relying on the American government again, but hmm. if you would permit a some. very risky idea, go on. I'm sure the Soviets would love to get one up on the Americans. We all look at Grayson. Okay, we were thinking the same thing. <laughs> we all look at Grayson like you have contacts with the KGB, right? <laughs> 
It's like in fucking, it's like in fucking, um, the boys were like, oh, Nina's Russian, right? She could get us into the top secret military base. <laughs> Grayson, do you, uh, have any ties back to your homeland? Homeland? Yeah. I am from Minnesota. Fuck. <laughs> Sorry, that was racial profiling. That's on me. Okay, um, well, I guess we talk to Neil, see if he can put us in contact with anyone. I mean, didn't we meet some KGB agents that ended up living in, like, Session 3? Like, the backpack lady or whatever? Did she live? That does sound familiar. She lived. We we captured her, yeah. Yeah, maybe we can talk to her and she can... Maybe we can offer her her freedom in exchange for, like, some names that we can contact. Right. Well, you know, I I don't know if we should go tugging the Hey, do you want to help us fuck over America? Yeah, she'd be all for it. Now we do have... One thing in mind here, there is the threat of you know nuclear devastation here. We do have to play this situation. Well, as long as uh, the whole the whole uh, thing with the Cold War is that as long as one side doesn't pull out the nuke, the other side won't either. That's that's the best case scenario. Neither side wants this to be. Uh, nuclear Armageddon, but we both already... sides are still happy to do exactly what we've been doing this entire time. You also have to admit that if in one of the final sessions we have to literally stop a nuke from landing by like fighting it in midair, that would be sick as fighting fun. the nuke. <laughs> yeah, like setting it off early. The whatever. nuke has a stand. Yeah, it's like <laughs> the the bringer of death. Can't can't they really just you know devolve it? To like a um <laughs> to like a shitty bottle rocket. <laughs> I mean you can just okay. unrefine it. I'll turn it in the balls. So next move is to pursue sort of Russian assistance then. Interesting. I'll absorb all the nuclear radiation inside my body. I think that's a fun take on Cold War, because like we haven't been explicitly American, but so far we're good troubles based on where we've been. It's been like more or less American esque. So like going to the Soviets to break into America's government to stop the real big You guys bad heard it here. Cool. The woke the woke members of Good Trouble support the radical left. <laughs> <laughs> They're gonna ostracize us as commies. Okay, we're gonna get blacklisted from Hollywood. We'll never make the it. new plans made for the time being. We will fade to black for this shorter session. I do apologize. It has been a bit shorter. Um, and uh, and Tam needs to fucking plan for this because I doubt he expected it. It was also a banger <laughs> session, though. I thought it was fun. Oh, anyway, that was one of my favorites. I I thought I, our fight was really cool. I really loved Bats's gambling. Uh, I do feel bad that Vasily didn't get to have like a big moment, but maybe like next session he can use some like noble time. Yeah, he just didn't get the opportunity. Yeah, but it was it was a fucking banger session. I think I think that was fun just because I guarantee whatever Tan had planned for this did not happen. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. In like every different direction. Uh, I have one more question before we close it. What do I name this episode? Uh, seven days left for the world of Matt, maybe. <laughs> okay, sure. Seven days left. For That's a Matt. long title. Long. Thank you guys for watching, and we'll it's... see you next time. Seven days would probably be a better title. <laughs>